Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 871. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about where are most Americans thinking of vacationing this summer? because this came up in my own conversation in my personal life. I was talking with a friend about what I was thinking about doing this summer. And I realized you might be thinking about what you're doing this summer. So I found this article on CNBC. It was written by Kenneth Kiznoski, and it says, here's where Americans are planning to go for that summer vacation. I thought this was a good topic to bring up because there's some complications this year with COVID. Some things might be more difficult about travel. Some things might be easier in terms of maybe driving for travel. So anyway, I thought it would be good for us to review the information here. It might give you some ideas of some places to go or help you solve your dilemma or answer some questions that you might have. So there's three key points in this article. First, it says TripAdvisor says 67% of Americans plan to travel this summer and 74% of them will stay within the United States. The second point, the most popular destinations include typical sun and fun beach destinations, affording fresh air and space for social distancing. And the third key point says competition for domestic accommodations is resulting in a boom in vacation rental searches in some emerging destinations. And the article says, Americans are looking to finally get out and about this summer, and interest in well-known and new emerging getaway spots is rising along with temperatures, according to travel companies. Online travel guidance platform TripAdvisor says 67% of Americans plan to travel from June through August, a 17% jump over spring, which was March to May. A plurality, or 43%, plan to drive, although 19% are willing to fly, and beach destinations, particularly in Florida and Mexico, are at the top of traveler wish lists. Why the beach? This summer, we continue to see travelers favor outdoor locations like beaches or national parks, locations that continue to enable the practice of social distancing, said TripAdvisor spokesperson Brian Hoyt. People are also just ready to get out of the house, he added, as the vaccine rollout far exceeds the Biden administration's promised target of 1 million doses administered per day. Americans are resoundingly saying they are prepared to get out there again to travel and see the world once more to make up for lost time. Now, I want to pause here for a minute because they have a little box that has information for TripAdvisor's top 10 summer destinations. So what we're going to do is a countdown. We're going to start with number 10 and count down to number one and see if you can guess what the top summer destination is. Number 10 is Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, which is where I happened to spend my honeymoon many years ago. And they are also featuring one luxury hotel in each of these destinations. So I'll mention that they are featuring the Dreams Macau Beach, Punta Cana. Number nine, Tulum, Mexico. They're featuring the Ahau Tulum. Number eight, Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. And they're featuring the Vista Encantada Spa Resort and Residences. Number seven, Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Banyan Tree Mayacoba is the hotel there. Number six, Las Vegas, Nevada. And they're featuring the Four Seasons Hotel, Las Vegas. Number five, Miami Beach, Florida, and they're featuring the standard Miami. Number four, Key West, Florida, and they're featuring Havana Cabana at Key West. Number three, for summer destinations, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, 
and they're featuring the Ocean 22 by Hilton Grand Vacations. The second most popular summer destination, Orlando, Florida, and they're featuring the Delaney Hotel. And the most popular summer destination, can you guess what it is? Well, it's in Mexico, that's a hint. Yep, it's Cancun. And they're featuring the Le Blanc Spa Resort Cancun. So those are our top 10 summer destinations by TripAdvisor. The article goes on to say, despite the interest in Mexico that TripAdvisor tracked, the site found that 74% of Americans plan to travel domestically this summer, and that means more competition for accommodations across the U.S. To wit, hotel searches are up 65% at TripAdvisor. As popular vacation destinations fill up, more Americans are looking at less well-known holiday spots, particularly of the sun and fun variety. Vacation rental search aggregator vacationrenter.com has tracked growth of more than 100% in bookings in 11 emerging summer destinations, eight of which are beach areas in Florida alone. Because of the last year, there's pent up demand for travel this summer, which makes it more competitive to book your typical vacation spots, said Xander Buteau, head of organic growth at vacationrenter.com. Smaller cities and areas that don't traditionally experience summer tourism are growing in response to other locations booking up faster than before. Now we have another box. This has 11 emerging summer destinations for renters. So if you're looking at renting somewhere this summer, these are popular vacation rental places and this might give you some ideas of where to stay. Again, we'll start at the bottom of the list and do a countdown to number one. Number 11 is Rosemary Beach, Florida. The 10th most popular summer destination for renters is Navarre Beach, Florida. The ninth most popular destination for renters, Lake Anna, Virginia. Number eight, Pensacola Beach, Florida. Number seven, Bonita Springs, Florida. Number six, Sarasota, Florida. Number five, renters like Siesta Key, Florida. Number four, Anna Maria Island, Florida. Number three, Miramar Beach, Florida. Number two, Sugar Mountain, North Carolina. And can you guess the number one most popular summer destination for renters? Well, it's in South Carolina, and if you guessed Isle of Palms, you got it right. The article goes on to say, being smaller, these ascendant destinations don't have the same hotel inventory as big league resort towns, but in this age of Airbnb and other home rental sites and apps, that's not necessarily a disadvantage and vacation rentals offers added advantage such as isolation and more space, said Buteau. They provide you with the flexibility to travel safely, and renters have more control, he noted. For example, you and your pod can order groceries and cook at the rental property instead of going out for food to reduce contact with others. People missed out on seeing their friends and family last year by having everyone stay in a rental. It's substantially easier to coordinate plans and spend quality time together, Buteau added. End of article. All right, well, I thought that was very interesting, and they gave us some great information on popular destinations for rental and popular summer destinations, mostly in Florida and Mexico, looks like they will be the big beneficiaries of travel this year. I was thinking of also going to the beach, but because I'm on the west coast and in the desert, I was thinking of staying more on the west coast. So interesting that no destinations on the west coast came up on these lists. I will post a link to this article in the show notes in case you want to take a look at it and click through to some other links that they have in here, such as top rated frequent flyer programs, what post-pandemic travel might look like, and how travelers could benefit from hotel industry struggles. Very interesting links that they have. So take a look. I hope that helps you with your summer plans. And I hope you're booking early because things will book up very quickly here since there's more demand to stay within the country. 
That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.